તાજા સમાચાર તમારી ભાષામાં મેળવવા માટે ડાઉનલોડ કરો ગુજરાતી મિડ ડે ની એપ a lot depends on the director it's the yeah. director who sort of molds you into the characters that you play uh, for instance if it's uh, sanjay leela bansali right uh, would you not be able to do gangubai in the way you did if it wasn't for bansali 100% i okay. i took his character i mean i took so much of his personality and i put that into gangubai's character the way he speaks and the way he thinks and the and he has a certain attitude and a certain tashan with which he looks at you and he delivers a certain moment because it's in his head so i would pick that up from him chalna bhai chalna aage badhte hai na so i would take those little little things and put that into the character i would have definitely not been able to do it if it wasn't for him it's totally different like a director it's a director's medium it's the written word and then the actor the actor has to collect all those things and then put that it's it's a rather well known fact that you actually seeked out bansali for instance right absolutely there were i mean you auditioned for black yeah he was going to do a film with you called balika vadu yeah how old were you then well when he decided to make it i think i was about 9 wow and then he said maybe i'll wait a couple of years and make it when you're like a little older but then i think he dropped the idea altogether which till today he says i shouldn't have dropped the idea uh because it went on to become such a popular show eventually yes eventually yeah um i shouldn't have listened to everybody i should have made it and all of that but yeah i i really seeked him out because i remember even then like it was such a big deal for me like i was so young i was a baby but i was like oh i want to work with this filmmaker and then of course when the idea of filmmaking became more clear to me then it was even more of a sort of like a chase and then you are also told na these tales that oh, what, at 8 9 you're like calling him up like listen do you have a role nahi, for nahi, me nahi nahi mujhe i didn't even know my mother just took me hmm. for the audition of black and she didn't tell me so my mum was very very particular like i used to get a lot of offers as a child actor okay. which she didn't after let after it sangarsh after it sangarsh right. you know as a thing i got hmm. a lot of these offers my mom said no like hmm. we did it as a one off thing hmm. but she didn't want me to be a child actor hmm. she said you know you live you study you have a life and we will get into acting later hmm. yeah, i was always very clear i wanted to be an actor hmm. i was like we'll see this was one i think she wanted me only to do because of the audition hmm. because she said you know like let's start auditioning and of course it's sanjay leela bansali so if you work with him whatever it is you have that experience yeah you won't just be a child actor yeah exactly right, right. like you will be represented in a totally yeah. different way hmm. so i didn't even know i was going for this audition of black she just took me for she like we are going for an audition hmm and i went and then in, when we were literally entering the gate i remember it's the building that he still staying in um, magnum opus hmm. <laughs> how <laughs> ironical that his building is also called magnum opus um so we entered the building and she was speaking to the watchman and she said um, sanjay leela bansali ke ghar pe jana and i was like huh? like my mouth my jaw literally dropped because i didn't know and she purposely didn't tell me because she knew i would get very nervous oh you were a fan girl on base of what What did you see? On his movies, how? Oh, which ones? Like was there some movie that you were constantly watching? Like I think a, Hamdil, Hamdil, Hamdil. Okay, right. Kamushi, I must have seen much later on. It's a, hmm. a, a very you know hmm. nuanced film. But right. I was in love with Hamdil. Hmm. I mean, I don't know at that time which films I had seen, but I had seen enough to right, right. You knew him. Be a fan. Right, which is unusual for a child. Yeah. To know that director's names and for the jaws to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I jaw dropped, went in, met him, instant connect. um instant like instant connect like hmm. just i don't know how whatever it was it was instant and um so he said no 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 he auditioned me for black i don't know what audition i did but he said no 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 this girl's going to be a heroine we have to make different film with her different film with her so then he i like he came up with this balika vadu concept we did costume for ourselves Oh well, he was in. Maybe it was already there. I don't sure. know, but isko lete hai. Wo wala idea aa gaya. So we did costume rehearsals. We did like I would dance on Dola Re Dola and all of that. Like all of this has happened. And imagine Ranbir was in the office throughout this. Hmm. We've done a photo shoot where my head was on his shoulder. Everything has happened. Ghum fir ke I don't know what happened. I went back to school. You know, so I decided not to make the film. But then that wo mere dil me like that kida got stuck. That one day I have to work with him. So when I joined the movies, the understanding was. Sanjay Leela Bansali works with the act with actors at their prime. Hmm. When they're at their prime, he works with them. <laughs> you know, like that was that. That's the aura, na. No? That aura. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll reach my prime one day, and one <laughs> day I will get to work with him. So um, yeah, when it happened, I was it was like a dream come true. And actually, it started like like break a leg, na, situation, because we started with to do a film called Inshallah, hmm. which never happened with Salman. 
with Salman right. which never happened which hmm. got shelved hmm. which i was like what the hell like my dream is just happening coming like was just coming true and it's now cancelled and then he came to me with gangubai and then that's what i talk about when it like when you speak about the factors of like luck and destiny like had it not been for the film getting shelved maybe gangubai would have never come my way so hmm. how everything works for also did you walk out like when you, when you first heard the script when he first told you what he's trying to make and you just got up and you left and <laughs> he was just left wondering what happened none of that happened he just made that up no no he didn't make it <laughs> okay. up he so exaggerates literally so he said she ran out of the office he was not wrong okay he i did get a little thrown off with the subject hmm. because we were supposed to do another film so i was like you know so it's a very different subject it's hmm. totally different to what i had imagined but i think it's only because i was coming off a totally different film which is like a romantic film and then suddenly this came to me so i just needed to digest it for a second and more than anything it was like no it was a no brainer you want to sleep on it like you want to think about it yeah but i went time. back home i reached home and i messaged him being like i'm going to come and see you tomorrow yeah. but like typical bansali style you you know storm <laughs> of no, no, no. his his office no no he said it more in a comical tone ki she ran away she took her bag and she ran but then she came running back you're the one who pursued directors na i pursue them ah. but pursue them not like i don't text i don't i don't good pay morning. them good morning good morning i don't pay them to take <laughs> me in their movies <laughs> like in case anybody was trying to sell that narrative none of that happens i very honestly go and uh, and give them a vibe that that i feel like they may enjoy Hmm. and um dedication hard work i think sells yeah. on the top of the pyramid and then comes rest everything else talent actually secondary the hard work and dedication is number 1 i mean obviously you would have connected with student of the year because if you were a actually. number 1 fan then you know govinda movies and dancing and all those things i mean it's, it's in that space right yeah but i was not this cheerleader in school or something huh. like you know this huh. the, the girl that shanaya is i didn't know how to walk also in those heels I was walking in those heels and like it's not me I didn't dress up if you saw me the clothes that I wore for my first audition you would have been like that's really not the character so Karan actually really had the foresight to be like she'll be able to be this heroine and all see the thing is I wanted to always be heroine but that's not who I am naturally if you see me who I am I would rather sit in my pajamas than get into an this big like glamorous outfit I'm not that person but you don't choose your first film your first film chooses you and i am so grateful that that's my first film that chose me to be launched by karan johar in a massive production with two other new actors and it was like a dream were well, other people auditioning for the part of course like, i was a part of i yeah. don't know any other people but i i remember auditioning and so what i've been told 400 girls auditioned for that part i went and auditioned in my school uniform wow <laughs> Dance to Bahara, Bahara, something like Which that. Which class were you in? I was in the eleventh grade. Okay, so there is a video I like that of you in a school uniform and dancing to. Now I changed my clothes. Then oh, you did. Some, okay. Something, <laughs> मतलब. But yeah, there is a video of me auditioning. I was wearing some black thing, I remember, and some white, pink cape, thinking that um I'm looking very stylish. Hmm. And right after that, my mother took me for lunch and everything. It was a quite a big deal, and I remember being very scared. because i'm like you know how do i cut cut away the people who are looking at me and all of that and somebody told me that just imagine that nobody is there or maybe i'm imagining that somebody told me this um but i just was able to cut everybody out and i just see the thing is what i did in front of that audition i used to do a lot as a kid dancing in front of the mirror hmm. to different different songs right. and singing to myself and talking to myself and doing scenes i used to do a lot of that to myself like with myself so i just did that in front of the camera You know, were you like a massive movie fan growing up? In the sense of somebody will watch the same film again and again. Is that something that happened, or I'm a total runty kind of first uh, first row movie watcher. No, like really? that is me. Chandan cinema. Chandan cinema. Really? I have grown up watching all the number ones. Kuli number one, ye number one, that number one. I used to see Govinda <laughs> dancing, and that used to be like, "Mujhe Govinda banna hai." That was my dream, you know. Govinda Karishma Kapoor. I grew up watching that. Hmm. So actually, this learned sort of uh, actor that people think I am, I'm totally not. I have not watched most of the f- famous classic Hollywood movies or classic Hindi movies. I le- recently watched Shole. I recently watched Mughal e Azam. So I'm not academic. Subscribe करो गुजराती मिड्डे. बेल आइकॉन पर क्लिक करीने मेरवो तमाम वीडियो ना डायरेक्ट नोटिफिकेशन